There's been many reports recently that Tesla appears to be about to build a gigafactory in India. Now, I think this is great news. India has become recently one of the world leaders in solar adoption. Hopefully, they also become one of the world leaders in selling Tesla vehicles. This would be a great step in the right direction. Charles Morris from Evernex reports, media reports on the EV industry tend to focus on the US, Europe and China. However, there's a tremendous amount of EV related activity going on in India these days. Giant automakers Mahindra and Tata have been selling EVs for years and a growing number of startups are also vying for a piece of the electric action. The federal government in, in India has implemented a number of incentive plans for automakers, buyers and charging infrastructure funded with lakhs of rupees and tagged with acronyms every bit as clever as those used in the West. From the 2012 National Electric Mobility Mission Plan to faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles to the Go Electric campaign launched at the start of 2021. None of this is news to Tesla, which incorporated a new unit, Tesla Motors India, earlier this year. According to a number of sources, Tesla has also reportedly beefed up hiring for top positions in India and zeroed in on a location for its first retail store in the country. The Californian automaker is believed to be planning a manufacturing facility in the state of Karnataka, a hub for global technology companies. Musk has tweeted several times about Tesla's plans to expand to India, and last December he confirmed that the launch is planned for 2021. We've heard no details since, but sources familiar with the matter told CNBC that Tesla's first move will be to be bring imported Model 3s to the Indian market. Obviously at this point in time, Tesla doesn't sell any of their cars in India at all. Now, keep in mind, there are huge tariffs on imported cars to India. So that's one of the reasons why Tesla is not selling their cars there at the moment. In March, India's Transport Minister, Nitin Gadkari, a longtime supporter of EVs, sweetened the pot with an offer of incentives for Tesla to set up manufacturing in India and a promise of low production costs. Rather than assembling cars in India, they should make the entire product in the country by hiring local vendors. Then we, have, we can have high concessions, Gadkari said in an interview. The government will make sure the production cost for Tesla will be the lowest when compared with the world, even China, when they start manufacturing their cars in India. We will assure that. Now Gadkari has expanded on this pitch. At a recent industry conference, he detailed some of the reasons India would be a good place for Tesla to do business. I will suggest to Tesla that it will be a golden opportunity for them to start a manufacturing facility in India because as the automobile components are concerned, already Tesla is taking a lot of components from Indian manufacturers. So there will be availability, the minister said. Now guys, I'm not sure which components are made in India, but I don't think that many are actually made in India. I think uh, many parts are made in China for Tesla's cars, but not actually in India. He also added a note of urgency saying that he believed Indian companies would be producing EVs to rival Tesla soon. Within two years, whatever the e-vehicles we are getting into the market from Indian companies, they will be put up to the mark of Tesla. So in the interest of Tesla, I suggest that they start manufacturing as early as possible. Now, obviously, there's no chance that any Indian car manufacturers are going to be making electric vehicles to the standard of Tesla. That is just a nonsensical comment from Gadkari, and I highly recommend he steers clear of hyperbole and sticks to logic. Gadkari envisions India as a major producer of EVs, clearly, and he wants to see Tesla building vehicles in the country. Within five years, India will be the number one manufacturing hub for electric vehicles in the world. If Tesla manufactures vehicles here in Tesla, in India, we will support them. They can export a lot of vehicles from India and compared with other countries, it will be economically viable. Now, facts are facts. India will never, at least not in the next 20 years, come even close to supplanting China as the number one electric vehicle manufacturer in the world. This is just utter bullshit from 
Gadkari, the Indian minister. However, I applaud their efforts for wanting to build electric cars in India and for want, and for realizing that this market is the future. So well done in that area. Now, initially when I first read this highlight, this report, I was intrigued and thinking there was some real news on what Tesla is going to do in India. I opened the link and read through the story, the story I've just read to you. However, the key point is that there's no sign the wooing attempt has been successful so far. So I don't believe this report was correct. It may have been, but there's no evidence to say that it is. There is Tesla's movement and progress in India, as we've reported previously, but the extent of Tesla's entry into India really isn't clear. In fact, the Reuters article itself may primarily be part of the wooing attempt. I should note that the question in my headline above is not a rhetorical question. I don't presume to know the answer on whether or not Tesla really will be building a gigafactory in China. We don't know. However, I think these reports are a little bit misleading. I honestly think, I honestly just think that's one of the most interesting Tesla related questions right now. And that's the reason that it's being reported on. First things first, the core news was that Tesla is setting up manufacturing, a manufacturing unit in Karnataka, India. However, there's still the question of whether that will simply mean assembling vehicles in India or a full on gigafactory like Tesla is still building in China and Germany and Texas and what they have to some lesser degree in Nevada. After all, CEO Elon Musk has said that they will need a bunch of gigafactories, not just four. His aim is to produce 20 million vehicles a year by 2030. So Tesla will probably build another four gigafactories within the next five years, I predict. That's where I will return to the new Reuters story, India's Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari specifically focused on the matter of manufacturing versus assembly in the first quote in the article. He said, rather than assembling the cars in India, they should make the entire product in the country by hiring local vendors. Then we can give higher concessions. The article mentions that the Indian government was putting incentives on the table for Tesla in order to try to get it to set up a real manufacturing capacity in the world's second most populated country, and very soon its most populated country, if you've looked at India's growth figures. We don't have specifics as to what incentives the government is actually offering Tesla, but Gadkari gets to the heart of the matter with another statement in the piece. The government gets to the heart of the matter with another statement in the piece. The government will make sure the production cost for Tesla will be the lowest when compared with the world, even China. When they start manufacturing their cars in India, we will assure that. India wants jobs. And the government knows that a lot more jobs will come from a full gigafactory than an assembly facility. There may be an even bigger point at play though. What beats Tesla when it comes to, mar to marketing by association? If India can say that it attracted a Tesla gigafactory, just the third one outside of the USA, that will become a big part of the country's pitch to other companies when trying to get them to set up manufacturing facilities or other big business units in the country. The goal goes far beyond Tesla and even far beyond the automotive and energy sectors. It is about India's image abroad for all types of businesses and its ability to attract foreign investment. It is about countless jobs and immeasurable economic growth. You can see it does come down to marketing. Of course, guys, to some extent, it is also about cutting the country's air pollution with a quicker shift to electric vehicles, something India has wanted to be a part, a leader on and a stronger action on climate change, which has already been absolutely devastating to India as certain natural disasters and heat waves, heat waves have grown in the country. However, while on the Indian ministers and activists pushing for a Tesla gigafactory in India do focus on low production costs and exporting vehicles from India to other countries in the region, there are a few domestic facts that make an Indian Tesla Gigafactory far more questionable than a Chinese one. Far, far more questionable than even building one in other countries, say, for example, other countries in Europe. 
Number one, the Chinese automotive market is much, much bigger than India's. 20 million automobile sales in China in 2020 versus only 2.4 million in India. That's a minuscule number. That's only twice as big as a very small population country like Australia. Australia has 25 million people and sells just over 1 million vehicles. Tesla has only twice as many sales with a population of 1.35 billion people. Number two, the Chinese electric car market is much, much bigger, relatively speaking, than India's electric car market. 1.25 million new energy vehicles are sold in China versus only 5,000 in India. Number three, India doesn't yet have strong policies requiring or incentivizing electric vehicle sales. Obviously, that's a huge impediment to the growth of electric vehicles in the country. Gadkari is trying, though. He claims that 80% of the components of a lithium-ion battery are now produced in India, and he wants to build a hyperloop from De Delhi to Mumbai. I guess you could call him an Elon Musk fanboy and a powerful one at that. What do you guys think? Does India have a Tesla Gigafactory in its future, or will it just have an assembly facility for limited Tesla demand in India? Personally, I believe there is zero chance India that Tesla will build a Gigafactory in India within the next five years. There simply isn't enough demand in the market for electric cars or just for cars in general. Unfortunately, Indians simply don't have the means to buy enough electric cars to make it viable for, Inc for Tesla to build a Gigafactory. However, I do believe India does have the demand for solar panels and batteries that could incentivize Tesla to build a factory there, just not a Gigafactory. They may be able to produce an assembly factory and also a battery plant and also potentially a solar plant, or maybe just a battery plant and a car assembly plant. It just wouldn't be the size of a Gigafactory. That's what I predict. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm intrigued to know. Do you think Tesla will build a Gigafactory in India before 2025? Let me know. Thanks for watching the video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.